I had a chance to have a four-hour lecture for the residents of the periodontal department at Columbia University in New York City on October 31st, 2014. This lecture's aim is to understand the new innovations the surgical microscope introduces for the periodontal field. I have modified the lecture which I presented at Columbia University into eight short presentations. The surgical microscope's conventional technique is normally set at the 12 o'clock position. In this presentation, I will introduce the innovation of the surgical microscope that has taken place in Japan. This technique, which I divided, is called the microendoscopic technique Akema method. In the dental field, there are two techniques for the using the surgical microscope. One is the conventional technique and the other is the microendoscopic technique again method. My lecture's aim is to help you understand the difference between these two techniques. The conventional technique proves to be good for endodontic treatment but very difficult for periodontal treatment. We have to study evidence-based medicine, but our field is technique sensitive. Our skill is very important. Number one, at the beginning. In medieval times, people believed that illness were caused by evil spirit. The microscope was invented and we were able to see bacteria. We could then really understand the cause of infection. After the invention of the microscope, antibiotics were discovered, therefore allowing us the ability to treat infections. As history shows us, innovation changes our common sense. If we treat with the naked eye, the amount of information is limited to what the eyes can see. Though, if we treat under the microscope, we can magnify the view. If we use twice the magnification, the amount of information will be four times that of the naked eye. If we use four times the magnification level, then the amount of information is 16 times that of the naked eye. If we use the 10 times the magnification level, then the amount of information is 100 times that of the naked eye. This is the amount of information. This paper said, when the periodontal pocket depth is over 3.73 mm, it becomes difficult to completely clean up the root surface. So another, even with periodontal flap surgery, there still remain 24% curriculars. This was confirmed by a lab microscope. Another, even with periodontal flap surgery, there still remain 14 caricaturas. This was confirmed by a lab microscope. This paper's conclusion said conventional instrumentation may be limited. Within a six-month period, another dentist performed through mouth periodontal surgery on this patient. Here we can see curriculums which has remained after the periodontal flap surgery. This coincides with evidence-based paper. After performing debridement with the surgical microscope, we can clearly see no curriculums remained on the root surface. 
Here you can see characters. So evidence based paper said here. After performing the brightment with surgical microscope, we can clearly see no characters remain on the surface. Here you can see characters which has remained after the periodontal flap surgery. After the performing the brightment with the surgical microscope, we can clearly see no characters remain on the surface. With the surgical microscope, we can easily see healthy periodontal tissue on the root surface. With the use of the surgical microscope, we can sometimes find other dentist treatment errors. This is suture. When the performing surgery which is very destroying 10,000 blood vessels or only damaging 100 blood vessels, if we can perform periodontal surgery without making any incisions to the periodontal soft tissue, this is truly minimal invasive surgery. Gingival sarcast access wrap microsurgery I wrote an article for the dental review. With the conventional technique, it is very difficult to perform the brightness. Though, with a new innovative microendoscopic technique, we can conduct the brightness without the need of any incision and can clearly view the root surface through a 2 mm space. The microendoscopic technique, surgical microscope innovation, has and will continue to change the periodontal field treatment. Like after the invention of the microscope, antibiotics were discovered, therefore allowing us the ability to treat infections. This is a case, female 23 years old, referral case. Chief complaint, I hate the gap in my teeth, I want to have a beautiful smile. This is her x-ray, maxilla, so very very deep pocket. This is her x-ray mandible, this is her pocket, mandible, deep pocket. So this is a CBCT image. With the conventional technique, it is very difficult to perform the brightness. Though, with a new innovative microendoscopic technique, we can conduct the brightness without the need of any incision and can clearly view the root surface through a 2 mm space. After regenerate the surgery, I performed orthodontic treatment. This is a CBCT image, pre-treatment, post-treatment, good result. This is x-ray, post-surgery one year, very good situation. So, this treatment is a papillar reconstruction. Pre-treatment, patient smile. Post-treatment, patient smile. So post-surgery, one near situation, very shallow, circus, very, very healthy, before 9 mm pocket. For her smile, post-treatment, patient very happy. Number two, difficult treatment in the periodontal field. The mirror classification 3 and 4 of gingival recession. The mirror classification of gingival recession indicates the ratio of success for root coverage. However, we understand that it is extremely difficult to label the papilla as it requires a surgical operation which is classified under class 3 or 4. This classification illustrates if gingival or bone around the teeth is retracted, it is very difficult to label them vertically. Although dentists in the world have performed surgical operations to label the papilla, none of them had good results. 
This implies that it is very difficult not only to raise the gingiva vertically but also to reveal her tissue. Patient 37 years of female. The patient chief complaint was the space between the premolar teeth that premora had severe periodontitis. Is this case treatment easy to perform? V. Root coverage in the ringer side. Her right lower second premolar tooth ringer side gingival tissue is too thin. She complained that when she brushes tooth number 29, she feels pain in the gingival tissue. She hoped to solve this problem. It is easy to understand that performing root coverage on the second molar tooth ringer gingival side is very difficult to perform. E. Gingival recession around the implant. After the second surgery, the soft and hard tissue around the implant recessed suddenly. The recovery for an implant is very difficult, especially the aesthetic area. D. Create perfect gingival tissue in ridge augmentation surgery. So chief complaint, I care about my front bridges gap after every meal food stayed in this gap. I don't like my bridge, so I want a new beautiful bridge. In order to achieve a beautiful bridge, can we perfectly create a ridge augmentation for the bridge's conic area? E. Ridge generational therapy for severe periodontal disease. Referral case. She had severe periodontitis. She had a lot of bone loss along the teeth caused by her periodontitis. It is very difficult to perform regeneration surgery when there is severe bone loss due to the periodontal disease, even with the use of the surgical microscope. 